And one person who um, gave you a shout out after the fight, before we get into his fight uh, in the main event, is Israel Adesanya said that he watched our breakdown of his fight with Kelvin Gastelum, and he said, I was surprised. He knew you how how well versed you were in boxing, but he was surprised that you picked up on all the little traps he was setting. That everything he was doing, you were pointing out, and and only someone with your experience would notice those things. And there's other guys out there, but but he he had a lot of respect for the fact that you pointed out everything that he was doing, which is why I think he sent you a nice message on um in Instagram. Yes. But um, yeah, I like him. I, I like the kid. I think he's special for yep. more than just his talent. But I'll let you lead the way. Yep. So in the main event, we got Israel Adesanya against Paulo Costa. Tons of bad blood. These guys wanted to kill each other, and wow, what a one-sided beatdown. I mean, just an absolute destruction. Yeah. To your point earlier about the bigger guy with well, no plan. Remember when Sugar Ray Robinson maybe the greatest fighter of all time in boxing once said. I got to dress him up before I take him out. That's all. <laughs> Man, continue. Paulo Costa, to your earlier point, seemed to have no plan. He just stood in front of him, acted foolish, getting kicked, mocking the kicks until he couldn't mock them anymore. And when he finally started well, to Well, acted try- foolish. He was hoping that that was part... That was going to be part of his fight, his strategy, his strength, that that, that was going to help. It wasn't yeah. helping with a real pro. No. It was a one-sided, absolute You know what? Down. It was Foreman and Ali. I love Foreman. He's mm-hmm. one of my favorite people on this planet. Special human being. And he made a transformation into another person after 10 years of basically living with the ghost of Zaire mm-hmm. and uh, what came after that and, and then came back and transformed himself into a stronger guy, not physically, but mentally. Yeah. Uh, he's a special guy, George Foreman. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and this was Foreman, Ali, and Zaire. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. Because Ali recognized Foreman as, at that time in his life, he won't deny it, being a bully. And, you know, what happens when you stand up to a bully? When you stand up to him, not just physically, but mentally. They, they start to lose their power. They start to, they don't have anything else. Like, oh my God. And that was that was what that fight was. Go ahead, I, I, you leave me the rest. But yeah, no, no. Uh, to your point, that was all the setup it needed. I mean, to your point, he humiliated him. He picked him apart. I don't think that Costa won a, a second of the of the fight. It was just a one sided beating, masterclass. Yeah, yeah, it was. And he didn't just beat him, as I just alluded to. Ken, he didn't just beat him physically. Some people say Teddy he did a pretty uh, good job of damaging the dude. Uh, listen, he. The beating, the victory started before that. It started with the mental side. It even started with the press cover with the final showdown at the Mm -hmm. weigh-in. It was showing that he wasn't going to be intimidated, getting into his head. He got into his head. He made, he made his opponent, Costa, behave the way he wanted him to fight the way he wanted to in a in a just almost a mindless reckless way where he could take advantage of that he could take advantage of the bigger guy just being bigger just the bigger guy thought that it was enough just to be bigger mm-hmm. not like Blakovich. Uh, Blav- Blakovich. he understood he had to be something else other than just a big guy yeah and the big guy here Costa thought that it was enough just to be strong and big and intimidating and we used to have a saying me and Customato that when you when part of your package part of your plan in a fight is to intimidate the guy when it doesn't work the intimidator becomes the intimidated and that was part of it he couldn't intimidate this guy and this guy mentally, Adesanya, am I saying his name right? Yep. I, I, I want to respect all these guys to say their names right, even though that's not my strong point. Um, Adesanya got into his head and knew that he could kind of make him a puppet, be a puppeteer, puppeteer, where he could pull the strings on him. He could get him to act the way he wanted him to. Again, reckless, mindless, maybe mad. You know, and then just be a, a 
a dead man, a dead man walking, mm -hmm. where there's nothing, there's there's no confidence, there's no belief, there's no thinking, there's there's just a vessel, but the vessel has no leadership. There's nobody steering the vessel. It's just a ship at sea, that's a ghost ship. He made him a ghost ship. Mm -hmm. He didn't have that. He didn't have his. He didn't have his will left. The will was gone. He took his will away. He took his. He made the guy think that the guy no longer had his say in the fight. Mm -hmm. That he couldn't control things. That Adesanya was in control. He made him. That's brilliant. Took away the that's rudder. That's brilliant. Yep. Brilliant. I, that Adesanya is special. Mm -hmm. But that's why. Yeah, he's athletic. There's a lot of athletic guys out there. But he's very athletic and very works out hard and everything else and very determined and driven. But he's very smart. And he's got a spirituality. I know people are going to say, what, that is frightening. They're clacking each other with them. No, no, no. There's a lot more to it. I hope you're starting to learn that. <laughs> I know that. And he does. He, he's, he's got a belief that there's an energy, there's a f other force out there that if you're in control of it, it can be an ally to you. It's, it's part of your strength. It's part of what you bring. In that ring call it belief call it supreme confidence all those words that make us feel more comfortable than spirituality or whatever but it's a knowledge that he's in complete control of his environment of himself he's responsible for himself and that another man don't control him no matter how tough it gets it's still your choice how are you going to deal with that tough spot? What you're going to behave like. And that you have a supreme confidence that the knowledge of that, knowing that you're in control of it, that, that, it, that it is in your wheelhouse to make those choices, to know that you have it. It's kind of like a sprinter knowing that he's, that he's got 4-3 speed and a 40. Oh, he knows that's there. Well, this guy knows that he's got this ability. You, you get me, Ken? Mm -hmm. He knows that he's got the ability to overcome. He knows that the when the cloud comes, and it comes to all of us, when that wave comes that can consume us, smother us, choke us, he knows he can, it ain't coming. He's, he, he knows he has the ability to put it on another guy, but it ain't getting on him. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he won't let it. Because he knows those things are as controllable as his legs, as controllable as his fist. Now we're getting deep. I get it, but it's it's it, to me it's 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 not deep. It's 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 what the special ones are all about. It's what Muhammad Ali was about. People thought that they were going to a funeral site here with him. They did. They told yeah. my guy he's gonna die. <laughs> but. Uh, the strength of Ali was in his right hand, even though he knocked out Foreman with that. It was his inner belief, the inner sanctuary of himself, that that internal belief. This guy, Adesanya, he's got it. He's got that. Mm -hmm. He's got that. And he knows it's always your choice until you make it the other guy's choice. He knows that. Under pressure, sometimes you just give it up you'd think that oh he he took it from me he just took it from me there's no such thing as those kung fu movies where they and i please rob get this up for me even though it's going to be graphic <laughs> no no he's going to get it up oh, it's going to be a little graphic but you know yeah and, and you go right through the guy's chest and you take the oh, that, <laughs> that no that doesn't exist yeah. but it happens spiritually it does it happens yep People do that. They take it out. But it can't happen if you don't let it happen. Mm -hmm. He And he, this guy knows that. Ali knew that. Al, he, Ali reached right into Foreman's chest and pulled it right out in Zaire. He just didn't put it up there, you know? But <laughs> yeah. but that's what he did. Yeah. He made Foreman feel like Foreman had no say that night. That's a lie. But the great ones know the difference between the truth and the lie. And... This is Adesanya from, I don't know what his background is, but I know that it's something that has gotten him to this place. Yeah. And it's got nothing to do with the physical stuff. And um, I told my son, my son asked me during the day, uh, 
you know, I mean, I'll bring my son in for testimony if people want to. <laughs> my son brought up the right way. He's a good kid. He's, he tells the truth. Um, he uh, he said, who's going to win that? This was the day of the fight. And, you know, he knew that I had sent a message to him and that he had, you know, uh, reached out with a message, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that he had... Um, he had said something, you know, yep. on the social media. So so my son, Teddy, works for the Raiders. That's why I'm out here visiting him and his family with my family. And so my son says, you know, everybody's liking this guy Costa. That I'm hearing more and more people at work. They're all UFC fans, boxing fans, all, all the football guys. He said a lot of people, are, you know, they're, they're picking Costa now. They're saying he's so big, he's so giant. My guy, he's probably on PEDs, you know. They're, <laughs> right, they're yeah. saying, and, and, you know, they're, they're like him. What do you think, Dad? That's exactly how I said it. I said, Adesanya is going to destroy him. <laughs> <laughs> well, even my son, my son, you know, he, he listens to what I say. He said, destroy him? I said, it's going to destroy him. He said, why, Dad? I said, because of what's inside this guy. Yeah. The, uh, what's inside this guy? He's, he's going to destroy this guy. He's going to expose this guy. He's going to take advantage of how slow, how predictable he is from a technical standpoint. Mm -hmm. But he's also going to take advantage of that bully mentality. Mm -hmm. And when the bully, you know, like Cush used to say to me, hey, Teddy. And I was in that situation, so I understood. He used to say, Teddy, you ever, you ever see the bully? You know, he's picking on And then that one day in the schoolyard, somebody stands up to him. And the next thing, what's the bully doing? He's looking for the principal. <laughs> 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 right? Yep. Uh, you know, and that's, and, and all the other things I said, which, you know, which I just explained. But uh, this kid's special. And again, he knew that he knew it was almost an unfair advantage by being smaller because it made him cognizant of everything he needed to be. The other guy being bigger and thinking that was an advantage didn't make him cognizant, didn't make him aware of what other things he needed to grab from. Mm -hmm. Maybe he didn't have those things developed, but there are other things to grab from. He didn't think he needed those things to grab from. He just thought what he had was enough, being stronger. Being, but that doesn't mean a damn thing if you can't get in position to use that strength in that way. You're not picking them up and doing uh, <laughs> doing military <laughs> presses with them, right? No. No. So it doesn't matter. And this kid, Adesanya, understood that. And he was, it was almost unfair. Well, it turned out to be unfair. But it was almost really unfair that this poor big guy that thinks that's enough is in there with another guy who's using everything and I'm going to use a word that's going to trip people up he's even using his fear yeah he's using his fear because he's on edge he knows he has to be he has to be but he's in control of his fear mm -hmm. he's got it working for him he's got it working for him he's got everything all the cylinders are, are charging hitting all the pistons are charging pop 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 everything's there so it was unfair. He's got everything. He's he's a work guy. Come here, I gotta move to the side. I, I gotta be alert. There's you know, I can't be and and the other guy was trying to play the game of casual, like he you know, it don't yeah. like this is nothing. I'm just gonna walk in, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wring your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no, no. And then he started to realize that ain't happening. <laughs> and then, then it started going it started going south fast. And uh and then, uh, you know, in the game plan. I mean, if you wanted me to get down to the simple stuff, I think I said the most important part of this already. Yeah. But the simple stuff, yeah, he, he, you're a bigger guy won't box. And the way we deal with it and the way I deal with it is I keep give a guy angles, which he did some of it out, out of sign. But so the bigger guy can't be the bigger guy. He can't be set to punch, to deliver the power. But in his business, out of sign, he said, no, I'll take his legs away so there's no legs <laughs> for the bigger body to, to deliver a punch. If there's no downstairs, there's no foundation, there's no house. There's no building. So I'm going to crumble this freaking building. <laughs> so he did. He crumbled. He took, he took those cinder blocks away from the foundation, from the basement. So, so that was his strategy. He kept them more bound, but to bang them and to stand with them a little bit. And that, that, that was part of it. Like, you ain't bullying me. You're, you're really not the bigger guy in the areas that count. Yeah. I'm right here. Smarter, but still right here. It's not like he was, you know, it's not like he was running over doing a track meet. You know what I mean? No, no, he was right no, there. No, no. So, and then he's, like I said, he's, he's banging, he's taking a bigger man's legs away. 
So he can't be the big. So he can't deliver the package. Yep. You know, and um, and then his quickness, his hands. You know, but but he got the guy ready, like Sugar Ray Robinson said. I gotta get him dressed up before I take him out. <laughs> and he got him dressed up. He put a tux on him. Yep. You know, the one thing Costa, and again, it's almost it's a moot point, but just from his people, he could have been helped with one thing. People, because I'm sure people are probably say, Teddy, what's the one thing he could have been, you know, except besides what you went over the landscape of the mind and all that territory where it's really where it comes down to. But he could have used his jab, mm -hmm. simple thing like that. But he's thinking of this and this. And, but that's not the one that you should be thinking of with a guy like this. It should have been this, where you could have stabilized him a little bit, hit him in the chest, just hit him in the chest, just to stabilize him. And to mentally keep yourself in a game where you're touching him, where you have hope, because he lost hope, mm. and then you're dead. But where you and where you mentally tell the guy, oh, maybe I'm a little more than you thought I was going to be, mm -hmm. and you send a message. Messages are being sent, Ken, and so that jab. That's what I would have done. Come in with the jab. Forget about all this other stuff. Just just to be in the game, mm -hmm. neutralize, neutralize the guy a little bit, and. But I tell you, when it first it was stark, the size difference. It mm. was, it was. I, I I couldn't help it, but I thought of David and Goliath. Mm -hmm. I said, "Wow, this is David and Goliath." And last I checked, David won, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's he still little, winning. And he was a little fella. Yeah, and and he won. And why did he win? I know it had something to do with that pebble, mm -hmm. right? But it was this, it was this. Yep, that he was smart enough. To, to know what he had to do and the advantages he had with a giant just standing in front of him like yeah. a big old statue like a big old mountain and you know that's what he did instead of the pebble he used his legs mm -hmm. and, and his quick hands and uh, again there's this I like the guy. I yeah. like him. I, I like his bravado. I like his kind. That's part of him but it's not over the top. It's not I wanted to make a point of this because I know sometimes we get into these things and sometimes people can, they it can be obtrusive, it can be dislike, there can be a dislikening to the attitude, like it's too much, it's 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 arrogance, it's <clears throat> like not respectful, it's, you know, it's, sometimes it's, I like this kid, I, even when he talks with his confidence, I see it for that, I don't see it for where it can go the other way. Do, do you know? You know yeah. Am I explaining it right? Yeah, exactly. I I don't see it for being, you know, the sometimes disrespectful or 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 just just completely self consumed to, to the point like I gotta listen to this stuff. You know, I appreciate his time, but no, this gets different. This gets different. He he's got that bravado. He's got that calm. He's got that. Uh, he's earned it. He but it's real. Yeah, it's it's real, and it, and there's a. When he talks it, there's a certain realness that you have to appreciate with it, no matter how strong it is. Yep. Because there's a validity to it. There's a realness to it. Mm -hmm. And and I like that he gave credit to his to his team. A lot of guys, you know, you see the selfishness. I I do, but he put across that certain thing to sell because everyone's trying to sell. Yeah. But with him. There's something else too that is I can appreciate that that's uh, legitimate, authentic. Anyway, I like the guy. I like him a lot. Um, you know, I I hope that he gets all the big fights that he deserves because uh, he goes and he goes in that cage with the lion. He faces that lion, and uh, he's putting himself right there with his confidence and his skills. 